We want to begin this video showing what the end result of these videos are going to show. And let me run this real quick out of iRise. Um, in going through these different tutorials, we'll be creating a website for a sales and marketing company called Solutions Co. For this sales and marketing company website, we're going to have a nice design, a little bit of flash within here, a nice navigational menu, decision logic, some form capabilities, as well as some data interactions. So we're going to be creating this from scratch. So let's go to File New and create a project called Solutions Co. Click Create. You can also do a new project using Control-N. And first thing we want to do is let's rename page one as home page. And then let's get at it. First thing I want to do is use a Control Shift T. I'm going to open up the formatting toolbar. I'm going to add in a background color of 20, 20, and 20. And then I'm going to add a background image using my images assets folder within the example files and choose background.jpg. The next thing I want to do is take a look at my uh, alignment for my project. Now I know for this project I want to have a center alignment of all my content and I can choose that by going to align center. The next thing I want to do is I want to resize my page by 1255 by 800. And I want to do this for a couple of reasons. Number one is that I know that my resolution in my case right now is 1280 by 800 and in playing with the different alignments and such with uh, iRise I found that center alignment can be kind of kludgy so you just really need to know for the full tutorial go to mockflock.com and search for episode 6